Hello, this is Tom. I'm feeling a little bit poorly this week, so I haven't been able to get around to editing the Farms and Survival video. So to make up for that, here is me trying to put out a diner fire in America somewhere. Uh, we're not going to spend 20 minutes driving to the mission, we're just going to start there. And let's see how we get on. Command, we've got electrical fires being relit by sparks. Find a fuse box and cut the power. Copy that. I'll do a 360 check. Attack line is ready to go, boss. Now, I seem to remember with this that the fire keeps getting relit from the kitchen, and all of my colleagues are too silly to try and put out said fire. So, what we're going to do first of all is we're going to take an extinguisher and we're going to go around the side. So, we're going to open up doors so that people can escape, and we're also going to look for the fuse box. Okay, right, so. Need to direct someone here. What is the button? Ah, uh, what button is it to tell people to come do this? Let's do number two. I'll need to get right. a tool He's going to cut that lock. Uh, 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 uh. Don't see a fuse box there, so I'm going to have to wait for him to cut that. Yes, come, in. come on. Come yeah, on. Put out a little bit of the flames through the window. There we go. I contributed. It's already been 90 seconds. Come on. Let's roll. Okay. So now I want you to grab that person. I'll be with you in a moment. I'm here. They're ready to help. Yes, sir. Just put out a little bit of the fire as we go. Because we don't want it spreading over the ceiling. That would be ridiculous. I uh, want yes, you number sir. three. Considering you're doing nothing. Let's see if we can put out any of this. So say just because once it gets up into the ceiling, it really tracks across, and then it becomes a huge problem. So let's just put out, try and contain it to one side. We will have to find the electric junction box, which I think is in like a room somewhere. Oh. All right, calm down. And this is out of water. Right, is there another fire extinguisher in here? That looks like a fire blanket. That's not a lot of help. Uh, it's a generator. Okay, thought the fuse box might be here. Okay. Yes, come in. So you pick them up. Right, nothing useful. Right, we'll come in with a hose. Uh, and I'm you. On. I'm going to have to carry them up, aren't I? Otherwise they're going to be burned alive! Hopefully they'll get to that person soon. Dee -dee -dee -dee. Right, could you be doing something? I'm with you, boss. Lead the way. I'm on. Yes, Commander. Right. I'll tell you what. Let's Victim drop safe, you boss. here. Yes, sir. You do that. Let's put down our extinguisher. And let's grab a nozzle. We're going to need an attack hose as well. Let's connect that to that. And then connect. No, no. There we go. Right. So if I now drop this, and I now tell number two to pick that up. You go use that, and then I think we'll have more hoses around the other side. Yeah. Dee -dee -dee. Like, I have to do this all for them. Like, can, can you guys just... No, you're supposed to attach it to the nozzle. There we go. Right. And then, number three. Do I just pick up? No. That. Okay. Right. Let's just do it in the right order. 
So I got a feeling this place will burn down before we actually get anything done. Like, why are you guys just stood here? There's a big blooming fire. Yes, sir. I'm on. Yes, sir. And how has this guy not put anything out yet? Yes, Commander. Right, I'm gonna go to the side. You guys put out the fire from this side. I really wish I could run with this. I know it's probably like physically difficult, but it does feel like I should be able to run with this. Need to ventilate. Right, let's see if we can check this room. Because I know there's no one else in this room. I want to make sure that no one is... I mean, they'd be well dead if there was anyone else in this room. Like, But I still need to find that fuse box. So adding lots of water. We want to avoid any flashovers. Make sure we're getting no backdraft situations. Going in with lots of water here. Still getting a little bit burnt though. It's to be expected. Again, the ceiling is where it's at. The ceiling is a big problem for this. So this is taking us out into the bar area. Now I know for a fact that there's going to be more victims lying about. So let's just see how quickly we can put out most of the fire. Because the main thing is just to stop it spreading. Once we can get it contained to a certain area then it becomes way more manageable. Still need to find the electric box and shut off it getting relit. Um, we also need to find all the victims and make sure that they're out. Because once they're out, you've essentially got unlimited time to deal with the fire. Um, <laughs> Do we have any victims here? So that's the bar area. Don't see anyone here. Yeah, I am taking a little bit of damage. By a little bit, I mean a lot. Da, da, da. I hope the fire hose itself is fireproof. It'd be really embarrassing if my fire hose like burnt and um, all the water started leaking out. All right, are we gonna have some caught? coordination here, boys. Right. So yeah, my main concern is the kitchen area, because I'm pretty sure that will have relit by now. And the AI is not amazing at dealing with... There. See? Yep. Okay. We didn't get everyone out. Someone burned to death. We've got to do better. Right, so firstly, so on number two, on. dealing with that. You're setting up the supply hose, that's good. Number one, number one is reliable. They'll be getting up their own hose, they'll be sorting things out. I like number one. Oh, couplet. There we go. Right. Number three. Yes, I want you to pick that up. Number two. I'm with you, boss. Lead the I'll way. let you do that. You don't need to be with me. You need to be putting out the fire. This one is time critical, son. Let's grab a nozzle. Let's couple it. I'm here. They're ready to help. Right. Well, you can grab that. Let's get this last one set up. It would be so much handier if we had the fire truck with the um, water cannon on it. Right, there we go. Right, he's going to do suppression at the front. Look, I told you. Uh, Alright, so we've got one and two at the front. That's good. You're coming with me. Unfortunately, you can't break any car windows or anything. Which is, seems like a shame. Breaks the immersion for me. Right, so we've got people here. So, we want... Which one are you? You're number... 
which are your three. Right, number three. Yes, and number two, dealing with that one. So I'm going to focus on fighting the fire. I'm going to get them to take out victims. But we're going to have to work from here out over. Making sure that we find people as we go. So let's just try and get rid of the worst of it. Make sure that we're putting stuff completely out. Victim safe, boss. Excellent. Now I think there was someone else over here. Let's have a little check. Right, so number two. Yes, come in. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Attack the base of the flames and then work your way up. It's good because they remember to come back with a hose. So it's not like they just stand around by the fire truck all the time, which is good. Right, so this wall's completely... Okay, well, we've got fire in here that I didn't know about. <laughs> like it only renders it when you get so close. It's like invisible fire. Okay, yeah, this is a decent conflagration. 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 Fire, basically. Right. Uh, right, so that's okay. Uh, why are you catching fire again? Yes, sir. Right, so we've got them helping them. Don't know why this keeps relighting. Oh, and we've got... There we go. So we turned off the electricity. So now, as long as we make sure that we get all the victims out, it shouldn't keep relighting. Which is good. The only thing is you've got to be careful, because if I start spraying water on the pan fire, it'll make everything worse. So I will need to find a fire extinguisher at some point. I like how the sink is on fire. They're washing their hands with, like, methane or something. Alright, if we can get the kitchen put out, that'll help with everything else. Yes, I know there's fire behind me, don't worry. As I say, we're just trying to work our way across. Put out enough of it. And then close the door. That gives me a shot at actually getting some of this stuff under control. Which would be marvellous. Right, okay. So again, chip pan fire. We're not going to touch that just yet. We need a proper fire extinguisher for that. We're going to open this door. I'm going to tackle this because this is only a little room. So this will be good to get out. Fire is hot. That's why I got my special suit. My special fire suit. Right. I'm going to need an extinguisher. Right, let's put out this room. I'll go and grab an extinguisher and then we'll move into the main diner. We do need to be careful though because obviously there will be victims in the main diner and if we don't get to them soon we're going to get to the point where... Oh, hello. Um, you know, they start dying. Amazing, really, that they haven't died yet. No, don't drop the tool. Close the door. Right, that gives them a minute. I'll just go and get an extinguisher, boys. Woo! You'd think they'd send more than one fire engine. Right, 
There we go. Right, kitchen area is now safe. That means we can turn our attention through here. Right, so this is the main diner, so rather than tackle this, I think, okay, I think it would be more useful to go through the main entrance and tackle from there. Maybe? Just feels like I don't think there's going to be any victims this way, and they're going to die before we get all the way around if we're trying to take out the whole fire. It's not getting really late now that we've turned the electric off, which is good, but it will still spread. So we do need to try and cover a lot of ground quite quickly. I am in quiet contemplation. There we go. Come on. Let's try and move pretty swiftly if we can. I want to try and get behind the bar dealt with pretty soon. Nope. Okay. Come on. We can do this. We're just going to do victim run. That's all we're going to do. Boom, boom. Alright, we're going to put an extinguisher here. If I didn't have to set up their attack lines, it would be so much easier. Yeah, yeah. Tool's fine. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Yes, sir. Yeah, don't run. Don't worry about it. I'm sure nothing bad's gonna happen if you take forever. Right. Let's just check whilst he's quitting that. Are there any victims just in the doorway? Any easy rescues we could have if we just walked inside? Because I know this guy's been holding down the fort a lot recently, so it'd be good to not leave it all up to him. I'm here and ready to help. Good. Do that then. Is that a Christmas tree? I love how it's untouched by the flames. Right, I see a victim. Yes, Commander. What else have we got going on here? Oh, got another victim. I'm on. Is that it for victims? Yep, so far. So now they'll be the ones in the kitchen. And that might be it. So let's just have a quick peek our we'll head through here. Try and make sure that the fire doesn't get this poor lady. Take her to safe day. Just double check, make sure there's no one else in here. Silly me thinking that, you know, the AI would be looking out for victims too. What a silly assumption. Right, what we're going to do, instead of being toasted, because that looks like an empty toilet. Wow, someone must have had the chilli. So I think what we'll do is we'll basically get this under control and then we'll shut the door. All that. Just to close a door. Right, I'm going to go around the side now. 
Why don't you have a hose yet? You stood there with your hand on your hip like you got nothing better to do. My god. What do they teach these recruits these days? You don't need to have my back. You need to start putting out the fire. No. Couple. There we go. I'm helping. Alright, we need to sort out the kitchen. So you're coming with me, Chief. Right. So, firstly, we've got yes, a victim there and a victim there. So let's start putting out this fire. We may have one in the cupboard behind me, so we'll just beat this back a little bit. And then we'll deal with them. Yep, yeah, we've got a victim here as well. Yeah, and just try and make sure they don't get scorched probably got another victim in the kitchen somewhere too. So I want to make sure that they're okay. Good work, boys. Don't know how many victims there are, so we need to be cautious. I'm going to start closing doors. Make my life a bit easier. Did I drop that instead of closing the door? going to revoke my firefighting license. Alright, I see another victim. Yes, command. The victim is safe, boss. We're just looking for those sweet words saying all victims rescued, because then that means that we can just focus on the fire. Take our time, do it methodically. Deal with them, aren't you? Good. Whoa, son. See, I know not to go in just yet because it keeps relighting itself. That's bad news for me. Let's just try and beat this back a little bit. Just check, no victims over this side. No, okay. Just checking this room that is clearly on fire, but pretending to not be on fire. Yep, oh. We got a victim here. I'm on. That's the thing. Hidden victims, invisible fire. This this diner's got it all. I think there might be another victim there. How they're not dead, I do not know. But I'm not going to question it. I'm just going to try and keep them safe. Let's just get a path to them. I don't think I've turned off the electric in this one yet. Right, so number three, you're yeah, going to come and take them out. Them safe, boss. Good. Right, you're not going to burn to death at the moment. Do need to find that electric box again, though. Because this is going to keep relighting. Like a goddamn nightmare. Just check and make sure it hasn't relit yet. Good. Close that door. That keeps that room from relighting. That's one of the biggest issues with a building this size, other than obviously trying to find all the victims, make sure they don't die, is um, it relighting from bits that you haven't quite put out. Because it's so big, you'll spend like 10 minutes running around putting out fires in the rest of the building. There we go. So we found all the people now. Um, and then you'll come back and be like, oh, why is this section on fire now? Right, so one, one, two. 
So we're going to basically start in the kitchen and work our way outwards. I'm going to drop my tool and I'm going to tell number three, grab that. I'm going to go and get the extinguisher. Okay, clearly they left there. What was that? Put out the chip pan and then we can carry on from there basically. So I need to turn off the electric. I don't remember where that was though. Can be different each time, but let's just put out the chip pan for last time. Extinguishers are pretty handy. They cover a much bigger area. They put out fires more slowly, understandably. But they can be useful as a support tool, so we'll leave that there. I'm going to have a quick look. So that goes to the rest of the business. There isn't a case there. We were just in there, and I don't remember seeing any. Oh, no. Yeah, it was there. Okay, that's fine. Right, we've done that. Tick. Right, so there was a hose here. Perfect. So it's not getting relit. All the victims are out. Now we're just working on putting out the actual fire. Excellent. So that basically takes away all the things that are going to fail it. Um, other than you giving up kind of thing. So now it's just working around. That guy is like right in the middle of it. I'm sure they must have taught him at firefighting school to not just go into the middle of the burning room like. Is he actually putting out any fires or is he just squirting the door? Why is this relighting so much? Oh, is it a chemical fire? Uh, don't worry son, I'll save ya. Extinguisher. And I know this looks like a water extinguisher, but it's an all kind of extinguisher. Right, son. Son. Come here. You're just blocking my extinguisher. Yeah, so if it's chemical barrels, then squirting water on it just makes it worse. See? See how much quicker that was than you spending the rest of your life in there? Which wouldn't be as long as you think. Right, so we've put out all the fires in these rooms. Now we're heading out into the main bar. Looks like these guys are doing pretty decent work. We've got another chip pan fire here. So we grab the extinguisher. So every time you put water on it, it just explodes. Excellent. That. Grab my nozzle. And we're just going to work our way around. I don't know where the other two are. I'm guessing that they started going out to the left, so it shouldn't take forever. Um, but yeah, if we just get these bits under control, as I say, work our way around, we should be good. And then it's one last diner in distress. Yeah, the bar's kind of getting in the way for the water. Oh, no, we've got another one. And these are the things that'll keep relighting everything. Don't put water on it. Is it like your first day or something? Are you an apprentice? Why are you putting water on a pan fire? Right. Let's try and get this under control, otherwise it's going to keep coming this side. How have you guys not managed to put this corner out yet? Right, let's let's do this methodically. Yes, sir. I'm on. We're going to start at this end and we're going to clear all the way around. We're going to walk it around like a fire line, boys. I don't want to see you move an inch until you've cleared everything within 10 feet. Thankfully they've got all these fire doors installed.
Here's a mess on how quickly everything relights. Alright, that's good. See, we're starting to clear. Alright, let's make sure we don't lose any progress though. We're going to blast out some windows. Let's make sure that we've got ventilation. That'll help clear the smoke. Right, so this is going to be the plan. So me and two are going to go this way. I want yes, one and three going yes, that way. You clear the outer, we'll clear the inner, and we'll meet on the far side to tackle the last quarter. bench at a time. might need to cut outwards a little bit because I think we're going a bit quicker than they are and we're at risk of stuff catching that we already put out so <sighs> guys like you're going past fires why, why are you not putting them out this is going to have to go in my report you know you got like the easiest possible job we're already doing half of your work because we're going out over as well Come on. Come on. Look, I'll show you how it's done. Tackle the base of the fire, and then go up and make sure the ceiling's out. I'm glad the fire trucks just got unlimited water. This would be so inconvenient if you only had so many literage. Obviously it is tapped into a supply line, but you know. There is not unlimited water in the United States. I suppose it does rain. Well, it's still not unlimited. Now we're making progress. Oh look, little nutcracker. It's okay, buddy. I forgot the Christmas tree. Right. It's always better to have a live Christmas tree, keep it watered. That's what we do in our house. Much less risk of fire. Doesn't drop needles. You can see how dark it's getting in here, so we're going to just break some windows. Let some of the smoke out. Might be it. Yeah, look at that. You guys, we're actually doing something over here. How lovely. And if you spray enough screen when it cuts out for the camera, 
Ah, the diner is saved. And they only sent one one truck. Feels like we let them down somehow. But everyone survived. There we go. So 19 minutes nearly. 814 litres of water. It feels like I used a lot more than that. I walked two kilometres apparently, which seems less than I walked. Uh, ventilated four rooms, opened six doors, rescued nine victims and broke 33 windows. And I will not be charged a penny for that. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out TomLewisGaming.com where you'll find out all the information you need about me and Pesh and the channel. And you can check out our store and much more. I'll see you next time.